Blending modes in Photoshop are a workhorse feature. They do a lot of the heavy lifting that makes a lot of the other features a lot easier to do. Yet they do it with very little attention or ceremony. But the work they do can be nearly irreplaceable when you use them properly. Hi, I'm Kirk Nelson and welcome to Mastering Blending Modes in Adobe Photoshop. In this course, I will show you exactly what blending modes are, why they do what they do, and how you can use them. At their root, Photoshop's blending modes are really just mathematical formulas that determine how pixels in one layer blend with the pixels of the underlying layers. Blending modes are organized into logical groups or sets. The chapters and projects of this course align with those groups. We'll start with the normal set, then the darken or multiply set, where we explore how to use those blending modes and add a realistic digital tattoo. After that, we take a look at Multiply's opposite twin, the Lighten or Screen set. We create this ghostly figure from the steam of a coffee cup. The Overlay set sits functionally between the Screen and Multiply set and has great utility in this non-destructive dodge and burn technique. And the last two sets are the Inversion and Component sets, respectively. Those are not as well used as their earlier counterparts, but we will still take a look at some very practical uses for them. When you finish this course, you will have a solid understanding of what Photoshop's blending modes do. And once you know how to use them, they can change the way you approach compositing or digital artwork. With that, let's get started on chapter two, which is the normal blending modes.